while you might have already heard of some of these places before, this area has so many unique attractions. Here's an up-close look at Itasca County and some of its hidden gems. Itasca County, located in the heart of northern Minnesota, is rich in history and recreation. I met up with Melissa Barr, president of the Grand Rapids Area Chamber of Commerce, for the ultimate tour. What a great place to be and a beautiful day to be here. So I thought we'd take our first stop would be up at the Rife Center. Uh, as you leave Grand Rapids, going up 38, there's the Grand Rapids High School, and we have a beautiful art center that's attached at the high school, and there are a lot of activities year-round that happen there. To the Rife we go. The Performing Arts Center features live music, theater, and dance. All of these posters are shows we have coming up cool. here this fall, and we do a variety, every kind of genre of music. We do theater, we do family shows. The Rife's executive director, Chantel Dow, showed us all the bells and whistles, like their smaller studio theater, then the Wilcox Theater, which seats 700 and is bustling with youngsters practicing for their summer production. There's a scene shop and a dance wing, makeup area, dressing rooms, and all the costumes you could possibly imagine. They have little, <laughs> I know it's little goblin kind of. <laughs> A state-of-the-art <laughs> facility with tons of ways to be involved in the arts. Next, we visit the edge of the wilderness, which just so happens to be at the start of State Highway 38 in Grand Rapids. This is the edge of the wilderness road. So it starts here, and there's four of these markers all the way to Effie. Just shy of 50 miles long, loggers once used the route through the Chippewa National Forest. A majority has been reconstructed and offers everything from kayaking and snowshoeing to skiing and eating. You start here on the Mississippi oh, yeah, River. Yeah, and then you just take 38 up and there are, you will just see lakes and lakes and lakes and lakes and lakes. Speaking of outdoor activities, just a short drive to the west will put you at Tioga Recreation Area in Cohasset with million dollar views and excursions galore. Mountain bike trails huge and they go all through the woods and the forest. The former iron ore mining site now features trails that twist through the landscape bringing visitors from all over. And there's kayakers that come down in here and paddle boarding and then there's just swimmers who just love because it's a beautiful lake and it's clean and it's such a gem. Our tour would not be complete without checking out some of the amazing art installations right along the Mississippi River. Sculptures pay tribute to the land and water, and these sunflower solar panels sure do make a statement. Murals adorn the sides of businesses, including the local coffee shop. There's a lot of art to be seen throughout Grand Rapids. Whether you enjoy pieces of art or the performing arts, outdoor recreation or scenic drives, there's something for everyone year round in this slice of northern Minnesota. Now, Rob, this just scratches the surface yeah. of all the really cool things to see and do in the area. And if you stop by the Chamber of Commerce on 3rd Street, they will be happy to give you a list of things to explore. And of course, we have this all listed on our website, too. Yeah, there's definitely no shortage of things to do here. So stick with us, because after the break, we're going to be talking about some of the best food the area has to offer.